right, good morning. We're going to call these polynomials roots and theorems. I'm sorry, roots and zeros or zero. Okay, so let's talk about the fundamental theorem of algebra. So this definition will help you because you're going to use this definition for the do not leave exit ticket on the next assignment. So what we're going to say is the binomial Um, so you're going to say the binomial is going to be x minus c is a linear factor of the polynomial. And that's going to be p of x. And this is if and only if c is a zero. or root t of p of x. So what I mean by zero and root, we're gonna look at the next definition for. So whenever you have a zero or a root, this is how you graph it. So let's say we had an x and y plane. And you're gonna graph a parabola. Where we cross the x-axis is going to be your root. So where it cross or touches the axis, and we're talking about the x-axis, is going to be a root. or a zero. So let's identify these points. The point on the left is gonna be a negative. So you're gonna have negative two comma zero. The point on the right is going to be two comma zero because you're saying that this number right here is a negative two and the number right here is a two. Another way to identify a root or a zero is by talking about a factor. So let's go through that very briefly. Okay, so let's talk about roots and zeros. So let's say we give you the root and we say that the root is four. We wanna know what the polynomial is. So you're, from here, you're gonna, since this is a positive four, you're gonna subtract four from both sides. So you have an equal sign, you're gonna say x minus four equals zero. So this is my polynomial. Now you can have an example where you have more than one polynomial or I'm sorry, where you have more than one root. So let's just say I had x minus two, x plus two, and I said that equals zero. And I wanna know what are my, what's my zero, and then what's my root? So these are the same thing, right? So it's zero slash root. But right here, they give factors. So it's asking for the zero or the root. So you're going to say x minus 2 equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. So like we did with the other equation, you're going to solve for x. I'm sorry, you're going to, you want to solve for x. So you're going to say plus 2 plus 2 x equals 2 minus 2 minus 2, x equals negative 2. So you're going to say x equals negative 2, comma 2. So in this case, we know that our 0 or our root are negative 2, comma 2. All right, let's go ahead and look at some examples. Find the roots of the factored polynomial. Remember, this is factored, so we're looking for the roots. So you're gonna set this equal to zero. X minus three equals zero. X plus seven equals zero. Plus three plus three, X equals three. Minus seven minus seven, X equals negative seven. So you're gonna say X equals negative seven comma three. These are gonna be my, my roots or my zeros.
It's a little typo there. So same definition, set this equal to zero. So x plus nine equals zero, x plus four equals zero, minus nine minus nine, x equals nine, negative nine, minus four minus four, x equals negative four, x equals negative four comma negative nine. Okay, so this situation is a little bit different in D. It's asking us to find the roots of the factor polynomial. Let's make that larger. So you're going to set this equal to zero. So you're going to say x equals zero. That's my first root. x minus one equals zero. Plus one plus one. x equals zero comma one. Okay, this is E. It says write a polynomial of least degree with zeros negative one, negative five, and zero. So what I did is I said, okay, x equals negative one, x equals negative five, x equals zero. So the easiest one to work with is saying x equals zero. I already know when I'm setting up my polynomial, I'm gonna have an x. I'm doing this on post-it because I need more room. So then let's set up our two other multipliers, our two other factors. So then you're gonna say x minus one, or sorry, x equals negative one. So you're gonna add one to both sides x plus 1 equals 0. We have to say that a factor is equal to 0, so that's going to go in here, x plus 1. And then you have x equals negative 5. So you're going to say plus 5 plus 5, x plus 5 equals 0. That's going to go in here. Now, this is the polynomial. Some of you will some questions will ask you for the actual polynomial, so you may need to multiply it out. So if we multiply it out, we're going to say x, we're going to say x times x is x squared, x times 5 is plus 5x, 1 times x is plus 1x, 1 times 5 is plus 5. We're going to simplify the inside. And then you're going to multiply this x out. So you're going to say x to the third plus 6x squared plus 5x. And that is the same polynomial as what you have right here. This is factored and this is the polynomial distributed. Okay? Okay, so it's more of the same. You're going to say x equals 1, x equals 2. Minus 1, minus 1 x minus 1, parentheses, minus 2, minus 2, x minus 2, your polynomial is going to be polynomial equals x minus 1 times x minus 2. Your polynomial can also be equal to, if I distribute this, x squared minus 2x minus 1x plus 2 x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, so you're going to write a polynomial with the least degree of roots. So this one is saying x equals 0, x equals negative 4. You're going to leave that one alone. So you're going to say plus 4 plus 4, x plus 4. So you're going to bring this down right here in the parentheses, so p of x equals x times x plus 4. So I also want the polynomial. So you're going to distribute this, the x into the x plus 4, x squared plus 4x. Next, you have the polynomial with the least degree. Okay, so I have, oh, it's the same thing as e, so this one's done. And then, sorry about that. Then you have i so it's the same as e all right so let's look at i i is a little interesting it's saying that x equals negative one x equals one you're going to add one to both sides you're going to subtract one here and then you're going to give me the polynomial. So p of x equals x plus 1, x minus 1. And then you're going to distribute. So p of x equals 
x squared minus 1x plus 1x plus 1, x squared plus 1. That one and that one work. All right, same class.